In today's episode, can we finally mop up the remnants of the Antigonid Empire and destroy them once and for all? Stay tuned to find out. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed and today we are continuing our Epirus campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum. Last time, we absolutely went ham on both the Seleucids and the Antigonids, and we are absolutely rolling now, aren't we, guys? So, yeah, we're doing pretty well, I would say. Uh, we are carrying on recruiting for new armies, which is glorious to see. Um, and, yeah, we're, we're doing really well. I'm really enjoying the spot we're in now. Of course, the constant barrages from the Seleucids is not so fun. But, like I say, if we can get maybe across to here, might put us to war with the Ptolemies... But uh, if we could maybe sell, like, um, Maranea to the Greek city-states, that would be rather good. Although I do want to attack the Greek city-states once we've taken out the Antigonids, just so we can clean up all of Greece. So we need these two cities here. This one as well is going to be mega helpful to move through the mountains. This one is mega helpful too. And then across here too, if we can clean up maybe this region it might put us bordering the score disky but i think they might be attacking us soon anyway we do have a thracian army on the way which is pretty awesome so i'm looking forward to getting that one going uh, in stoby we don't really have anything to train right now which is a bit annoying but that's fine but we've got plenty of battles to do guys don't we so I think the first one we're going to do is this one against Eptaper of the Maidy over here. That is pretty much a full cavalry army. We have a pretty nicely balanced army now apart from our cavalry. So yeah, that's going to be fun. This army is um, not doing so well. <laughs> Ifestiodas' army. So they need to get back to... Uh, Pella ASAP, really, for retraining. But this army has just been retrained. So, yeah, I think we're going to attack with this one. And they actually ran away from that. That was not expected. So, honestly, I would prefer to attack them on the bridge and try and force them across the bridge. Hmm. Well, that's a little bit annoying. Let's move up those still so we have both. And there we go. That's glorious. Now we can attack them on the bridge, which should be fantastic. If we can force them across the river, then that'll be amazing. If not, we may have to do some cheeky maneuvers. Well, I may try and get a mercenary archer, but there are none available, unfortunately. So let's get going, guys. Another glorious bridge battle. Well, unfortunately, guys, I had my mic muted then. That was so silly of me. I am very sorry about that. Um, yeah. <laughs> dear. Oh, dear. I am really sorry about that, guys. But a glorious little victory. We uh, charged across the river, and we had a little nice line, and they just kept cycle charging it uh, into the phalangites, which, of course, did not work well for them, which, uh, yeah, glorious for us. So, very nice indeed. Um, 
but yeah, let's uh, let's go and take out that unit. Do we have enough? I think we do just about have enough to deal with them. So they do have a general. They got the Hippocontisti again. Hmm. God, Athens just has to be annoying, don't they? Like, why does Athens do this, bro? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Where are our ships, though? Could you get on a ship here? Probably could. So let's get you there. Drop you off there. You guys get back over here, maybe. And then you can go for Pella. So we did actually manage to move without the Athenians doing so. Glorious. Very good. And a glorious little victory for us, nonetheless. Um, we do need to focus on the north a little bit. We are going to get cut off if we don't focus on them at all. And it does look like the Scordisci are going to be attacking us anytime soon. Don't really want to deal with the Scordisci. <laughs> but hopefully we'll have a, a strong Thracian presence up here in the north. You know, Thracian boyos fighting for Epirus. Glorious. Right. We do have other battles to do, though. So let's get on with the Siege of Chalcis. Shouldn't be too difficult, hopefully. But let's see. Alexander the Cruel actually backs this up because they're next to each other. That's amazing. Let's go. Right, we're up on the walls now, guys, which is glorious. We've got these guys coming through. So hopefully we can goad them into coming over here so we can shoot them. We are going to send this guy around this way to go and maybe fire some javies down on the Greek hoplites. But all it is is some Greek hoplites and some Thurioforoi. So it's going to be pretty nice and easy to deal with. We're going to get these guys up that way. We're going to get these guys that way. And we're going to send the cavalry in too. So yeah, it should be nice and easy, but you never know, do you? Hopefully we can uh, break these guys or get them off the town square somehow. Mainly with the archers, if possible. So, come on, guys. Get there. Go, 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 go. Halt, 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 halt. So you can fire, Javis. Fire, fire, fire. Okay. Didn't manage to fire too well. But that's okay. That's not a problem. Where are the archers now? The archers, probably worth getting you down here, if possible. So let's get going, boys. There we go. Oh, these guys are on phalanx mode still. So get running. Very nice. Oh, uh, <laughs> very nice. You guys just get there, I would say. Who's... Oh, hello. I did not see that one. I did not see that one. That was a bit of a mess, wasn't it? Attack mode, attack mode, attack mode. Should be nice and easy, especially when we get the phalanx down. There we go. That's better. Look at that. Instantly, as soon as the phalanx is down, we start absolutely shredding them. Glorious. That's a lot better. Looks like they might try and just focus on that area. I mean, it'd be clever for them to do so because that is the main area in which um, they, of course, have done a little bit of damage to our men. So it would be a clever thing for them to do. But, uh, you know, the AI is not so clever, really, is it, guys? <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> so you guys come around that way. Where be these boys? They are here now. So come that this way. Just in case. You guys get your phalanx down. Good. And what we're probably going to do is actually wait a second with the cavalry. Just wait there. Let's see if they will come off the town square for us. That'd be glorious. We got the archers here. Yes, we do. It's probably worth trying to get the archers like up this way. Just so they can actually fire into the town square if necessary. That'll be glorious. If we can get those Greek hoplites... Around here to fight us. That'd be amazing. I don't know whether we're going to be able to, though. Where are these boys? Being very slow. <laughs> Good. That's what we like to see. Slugs on the dance floor, my friends. There goes their jabbies. Didn't actually do anything. But yeah, we're shredding that Thurio 4 right? We do have lots of experience in this army. Because, of course, it's been here from the start. And there go the Greek hoplites, guys. So all we need to do now is break them. Um, cavalry-wise, let's get going around then. We've taken the... We'll only get shot by that one tower. If we can come all the way around, that'd be glorious. Well, here we go, guys. We're now on the town square, so I'm hoping we can charge these guys and do a bit of damage. Um, I'm probably going to keep... I could keep one unit on the town square for that two minutes, so we'll do that with the general. We'll keep the general on there. 
These guys hopefully will get a good charge. Whether they do or not is a different question. You guys fight them. There we go. Now they're wavering. Good. That should have been a better charge than that though, guys. Why are you running the wrong way? <laughs> Come on. Charge them for God's sake. You fools. Well, this is a little bit of a mess, isn't it? Jesus Christ. You guys fight them. There we go. You guys fight them. You guys fight them. That should help with the phalanxes back down again. Hopefully we break these guys. Come on. There we go. Broken. Let's kill them all. We've only got to wait a minute 40 now, though, which is good. And it looks like we've broken one of the Thurio Foroi as well. So uh, if we can come through and break that Thurio Foroi, that'd be amazing. There we go. They're all around us, though, which is a little bit annoying. <laughs> but there we go. Glorious, guys. Very nice. We did lose 153 men, which is more than I was expecting. But overall, another city is ours, my friends. And I think we're just going to occupy Chalkis. I don't think we need to do anything other than that once again. So let's do that. Apparently, the walls are damaged already. Uh, that wasn't us that actually damaged the walls. So I'm not sure who it was. Why have you stopped sieging down Eritrea? So because you were called into that last fight, you are now not able to <laughs> siege down anymore. Surely not. That's really weird. <laughs> uh, we can actually leave this um, undefended. Whether that's a good idea or not, though, I'm not 100% sure. Um, do we have any spare garrisons? Not really, do we, guys? Like, That's one of the main things we've been running out of is garrisons over here. We have you to come over this way. Obviously, Argos has rebelled, so it's fine. Ah, well, that's that's a little bit annoying. Got stuck by that army. Great. Uh, what else do we have, then, in terms of garrisons? We are just getting loads of garrisons there, which is ideal. And um, We're retraining in Thermon. That's fine. What did we want to bolster this army with? Wasn't it Athamanians? Probably Athamanians. Maybe some archers if possible. But uh, where we can get archers is a different question. We're not too far away from another army, which will be amazing. I'm sad that Alexander is known as Alexander the Cruel now. Because that, that, does, that does not seem fair for such a glorious commander, I've got to say. Um, but anyway, it's, it's fine. Now making 107,000. Chalkis is only a minor city. But it's a pretty decent one at that. Look at that. Really nice. Good good buildings in there. Let's see if we can build maybe a temple. Keep them nice and happy. Population growth from Aphrodite. That's glorious. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to see save Orchomenos unless we can get through here. So that's going to be a bit of a spicy meatball. But um, yeah, we might be able to defend again. Um, not looking too healthy with some of these guys though, are we really? But let's see what we can do there. That'll be fun. Um, and I think that's all the battles for this episode, right, guys? Uh, this episode, this turn. Um, bit annoying that they got taken off this siege to help us out. So maybe I should have done a night battle there or something to stop Alexander coming in. But our glorious faction leader, Alexander, continues his march, doesn't he? But anyway, let's end the turn there, guys. And let's get to the next turn. And another guy for adoption. He's a learning bureaucrat, so he'll be good for um He'll be good for management. Uninteresting, uncharismatic though, but that's fine. But um I think the best thing to do is get garrisoning some of these cities up here with generals because they're such good cities. Do we have any that are not? That's not. Burger's not. Cirrus is not as well. But some of these are really, really rich, um, especially uh, Tarida over here. Um, no, well, not Tarida. 687, but it will be rich at some point. Look at Athens just chilling, bro. <laughs> what are they doing, man? <laughs> Classic. Um, in fact, no. The best thing to do is to be garrisoning the cities down in the south. Where did you, uh, did you come in? You came in over here. So, yeah, definitely, like, Athens needs one. So does Tanagra 2, 2,500, 5,000 for Athens, 4,000 for Megara as well, but that does have a general in already, so that's pretty good. Um, and we're still under siege in like 5 million different places, fine. <laughs> we did get the Adrissians deciding to come and siege us down. Um, 
Sorry, where was that garrison again? <laughs> I've already forgotten. A Larissa, right. That's fine. So you guys, all the way around to Athens would be good. You guys, like, keep coming up to Chalkis. We do have another garrison available now. So you keep coming over this way to wherever we siege down next. That'll be glorious. We've got those guys. Um, and we did some more recruiting. Glorious. So this army now should be able to move. You guys, can you actually get there? You can. And we could actually go all the way around this way to fight them. That's probably the option. So let's do that. And then with Pyros of Iparos, Epirus, 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 you're just going to go after straight for Delphoi. That does leave Thermon undefended. So, yeah. Maybe we do want to garrison Thermon as well because it is quite a nice little city, isn't it? Um... Yeah, potentially. Let's uh, just train an archer or something here, just a garrison for now. And yeah, we've got a few more battles to do. This is where the Adrissians have sieged down. They sieged down Philippopolis again with a pretty trashy uh, amount of troops. But we do have archers in there that we can maybe shoot the rams. Over here, what do they have? Pretty much all cavalry. So yeah, our archers are not going to be able to deal with that. I hope the Scordisci do not manage to take Dardanicon Frurion. Because that would be really annoying. Because that this is part of our King's Road. Our Royal Road. Um, and it just blocks us, really. But the Adrissians are going to get it, guys. At some point. <laughs> Trust me. They're going to get it at some point. And we've also got this battle to do. So let's go for that. You guys back into Pella. For a bit of retraining. Athens, it would be nice, Athens, if you decided not to uh, just block the way. I don't think with this one we can really um, merge too many troops together. Yeah, it's not going to be... It's not quite going to be enough. So, yeah, we're still going to be able to retrain most of the army, but it's going to be a little bit slower. That's fine, though. We've got that. You guys are there. You guys are going to do that. What is that in there? That's not the greatest amount of troops. Let's just auto-resolve that. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. And Oreos. <laughs> Let's occupy Oreos too. That it, This is nothing. This city is awful. It's not even a city. It's a large town. Um, that's fine. Let's watch Athens take this now. 34% happiness. It's not great. Um, I could get one of these. Very expensive as a garrison. But just to keep Oreos happy for now. So, yeah. Let's combine these armies again. And let's also resolve that one because of the amount of troops. Alexander the Cruel. Eritrea. Let's enslave Eritrea because it's quite a decently sized city. Let's destroy that. It's actually quite a good city as well, looking at it. Nice. Very nice indeed. And we'll combine our armies back together. Is there anyone we can leave behind, though, while we go down south? I'm not 100% sure. They're still happy, though. So that's fine. Let's just combine the troops. Auto-sort them as well. And go down to Karistos. Down here. Alexander the Cruel. A bit of an annoying name, honestly. <laughs> Sophis has upgraded. That's actually fantastic. And we need to do some building, don't we, guys? We've not done building for a while. But I'm thinking, in terms of battles, let's... Do I, I don't think we need to retrain those armies after those battles. So let's do our building first. Thebai Pathiotides over here needs more growth. So let's go for Aphrodite. Demetrias over here as well. Quite a decent city now, honestly. Uh, anything that's worthwhile in here. The highways potentially. 8,000 though. 200% trade. Let's see. What does that bring us? 100 gold for 8,000. That's... Not really worth it, is it, guys? There's no law issues here, so that's not amazing. We could go for the Temple of Aphrodite, or we could go for Grain Imports. I think let's go for Grain Imports there. That'll be fine. Then we got Tricker over this way. Could do with an Agora. That'd be good. Um, Iginion, again, not exactly the most amazing settlement, but not awful as well. It's fine. 
Uh, doesn't have a governor, so no point for an academy. So let's just get in, I'm thinking over here, more growth. Like, we need Aphrodite and all of these, like, look at the growth on low as well. It's really not good, is it? <laughs> what is that? That's Dioscuri. What temple have we got here? We have Dionysus. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's go for some grain imports there too then. Oinidae over this way. Probably worth it, the highways over here. I know they're expensive, but that's okay. Tarona over all the way in the north. Uh, more Dionysus. I wish we had a trade temple, you know. That would make things so much better for us. Imbros, as usual, really upset and pointless. <laughs> Heraclea Lincestis, which is actually quite a decent little city now. Any law issues? Absolutely no law issues. So, again, probably not worth building anything there for the time being. Nysos. Let's have a look then at Nysos. All the way up here in the north. Did the Scordisky take the town? Not yet. Okay, good. So let's go for the Agora up here. Burger as well. Probably worth getting that trade ship, right? How much money is that going to bring? 800. <laughs> and they do have... It does have corruption here, so we do want to build some law buildings in there when we get chance. By Lazora, probably worth getting that armorer, honestly. Let's get our Thracians nicely armored because they don't have much armor to start with. Cirrus over here. Here, again, a pretty decent little place. Ah, I forgot to attack them. I should have attacked them. That's okay. Do we have corruption? No, just devastation. 100 for the highway is not worth it. Um, so let's go down then. Idava is incredibly upset. So yeah, we don't want the Temple of Dioscuri here. They're just upset probably because of cultural reasons. So we'll leave them be for now. Igeon down in the south. Nothing we can do there. Olympia over here. Let's have a look at what we can do. Not much again, so let's leave that. Trozan over here. Let's get the uh, paved roads in Trozan, I think. Best thing for us. Piraeus over here. Let's go for the sewers to keep that health up. We don't want a big plague like we had earlier in the campaign, do we, guys? <laughs> um, Ellis itself, probably the public baths, honestly. Tegea, let's have a look. Nothing in there. Messene. Hmm. Messene. Let's go with the Agora. Hopefully we can get to the point again when we are building in every city. That would be amazing. Kythera is not really worth it. I forgot we are at war with these guys as well. So, yeah, we just need to wrap up the Antigonids pretty soon. They may still have their landing. They may still have Kaunos over here. But as long as we kill them in this area, they shouldn't want to attack us again, which would be glorious. Uh, no, actually, we don't want that in Kythera, do we? Maybe the stone walls. That'll be helpful in defense if we are going to defend it. So let's then go for the shrine to Aphrodite in Prasaya. Right then, a few battles to do then, my friends. Let's start with the one against the Antigonids. Should be nice and juicy. Looks like they are going to bring in some more troops. This is a pretty fresh army. And what is this? Well, those uh, unit cards scares me slightly that we're going to crash on this battle. This is about five of their generals. Do they have other generals around? No, that's a captain. Do they, they do have generals in a city, actually. So that's fine. I was just thinking I don't want to um, regicide them. But there we go. Let's see. I think one of these guys, Captain Ziggoros, is actually from... No, these guys are from that settlement. So we could actually take the settlement with this battle, guys, which will be glorious. So let's go. So I'm not sure 100% where their reinforcements are coming in from. So we are going to chill on top of this hill. It looks like they're all coming in from behind them. Because I kind of want them to, um, to all join up together. So we can kill them all at once. Rather than risking them withdrawing from the fight. So that's probably what we're going to do. Although they do have a lot of cavalry, don't they, guys? And we rely heavily on cavalry dominance with this style of army. 
Um, just to hold the lines and then have cavalry dominance. These guys over here, you know, you can chill. You are the glorious conquerors and defenders of Orchimenos. You deserve a rest, my friends. We're not going to bring you in at all. Um, so, yeah, whether we can go and take them out, I don't know. We might just wait for them all to con combine, but let's see. So all told, I think this battle might be quite a brutal one. They have now managed to get all their guys together. So we're going to go with that. We're going to keep them on guard mode for now, guys. So like I've said before, both of guard mode and everything else, they work separately. They work differently depending on what you're going to do. So we might turn them off guard mode when we actually get engaged with them. Um, but yeah, this is going to be... A bit more brutal, I think, than we expect, honestly, because that is a lot of troops. It's a lot of cavalry, too. Half of the troops are actually hiding now, guys, in the grass, so uh, we can't see all of them. But, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be more brutal than we expected. And they do have a few units of the Halkaspides. <laughs> so, yeah, that's fine, though. That's fine. Not a problem. There you have some Greek Slingers and Akontistai. And we've got to be wary as well. I forgot about this because of Anchises, our general. He, of course, um, is not exactly the greatest of generals. He is a brand new one, so he won't have as much morale as we normally have. But look at this glorious sight to see the Epirote Phalangites charging down the hill. Well, charging, marching down the hill, shall we say. <laughs> um, and yeah, going to be a little glorious fight. Here we go, guys. Straight into the action. Let's get those phalanxes down before they charge. There we go. That's one of their general's bodyguards. He's going to try and charge the flank of those boys. I don't know why they stop there. Just keep on going, boys. That'll be good. But we should be able to kill them. Remember, to take that city, we need to kill all three of those generals. Uh, which isn't ideal, but uh, it should be fine. He's routing rather than fighting, which is cowardly way out, my friends. Cowardly way out. But let's see if they decide to charge anymore. So that was one of the generals. Whether it's the one from the city, I have no idea. Can't remember exactly what they were called. I told us, I think that's the one of the main army. So yeah, that's fine. Here comes a charge from five Macedonian hoplites. Not going to be too scary, is it? <laughs> Let's be honest, guys. Here comes the Thurio Foroi. And uh, let's uh, slightly close the door on them over here if we can. And then we might get our cavalry into the fight. What is this? Just Progemoy. Oh, no, that's a bod general bodyguard. So let's go and have a go at him. That's actually two general's bodyguards over here. I think you might die, my friend. Um, <laughs> I don't think that's a sensible thing to do. Here comes another general's bodyguard. Two, actually. Aitolos and... Wait. Aitolos and Captain Zopyros. So, yeah, there we go. Let's go straight into Olypos. That has really hurt our Thurio Foroi, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, that's fine. There's another general routing, which is a little bit annoying. There's one dead, though. We've got to kill some more. Here we go. Killing that Zista Foroi. There we go. Have we killed that general yet, though? Right, let's uh, let's come out of here. Let's see if we can engage the Progemoi. Go on, go on, Cav. We've got so much Cav, it's actually insane. They instantly broke because of the Thessalians. <laughs> go and get them. If you can, guys, if you can touch them, that'd be amazing. They will just break. But yeah, the Prodromoi force. Like I say, we probably want to start getting a few more sort of um, light infantry in our... Uh, light cavalry in our army now, too. Because the heavy cavalry are great. Uh, but it depends who we're fighting. Like, I don't think we need light cavalry against the Romans. I think it's more valuable to have more heavy cavalry against the Romans than anything else. So if we are going to fight the Romans with these armies, then maybe not. But against Greeks, definitely worth having a load of light cavalry in there. Well, not a load. Maybe two units of light cavalry. Just to, um, like, uh, basically... Um, chase down all of these guys because our heavy cavalry is not fast as you know guys it's not fast is it so we want to just like keep going guys just through the middle of these boys through the middle of them through the middle oh and a load of them are routing now look at that that's insane i think the thessalians actually do they intimidate infantry no but apparently they're scary i, I don't know how they're scary but they are scary let's get these two in there one of you in there should be fine. Looks like a Progemoy is coming to try and ch chase us too. But I don't really care. Um, now you guys get after those Greek archers that we're drawing. 
Everyone is withdrawing now. That's not good for us. So let's get these guys trying to chase down some of the men. Oh, what do we have here? Greek archers. Come on. You should be able to kill those Greek archers. No problem. Uh, and let's chase down everyone else over here too. You guys get them. So what do we have here? Let's just group them so we know who we've got. And all of these guys, we need to get rid of them. There we go, guys. Keep on coming through. There we go. We're going to chase everyone down now. Glorious, glorious little fight. There we go, guys. A glorious little victory there for us. Very nice indeed. We absolutely destroyed Captain Zopyros. I told us probably not fully dead, even if we did kill the general. Um, and neither Coerilos, because I don't think we killed all of the generals there. But a glorious victory. We hardly lost any men. Very nice. Look at the Thessalians going absolutely ham. 204 for one of those guys. Glorious. Victory and honor indeed, my friends. Looks like they've got a little bit of a bug there, which is not great. So let's siege it down and just make sure that we're not bugging anything else out there. I do want them to actually take Lamia, because that will mean we can then take Lamia. So that will be very good. So I might have to wait one more turn, just so that this does border their... Oh, it will border their land anyway, so... That's fine. Glorious. So we've done those battles. So let's go down. Up, go down. Go up to the north. And let's go fight this. What is in here? Nothing too scary, honestly. Our cavalry is quite damaged, but our men are very healthy. So that is fantastic. How are we doing with that? That's fine. Um, Adrissian's just uh, really annoying right now. <laughs> it's just really annoying. <laughs> Uh, do we have a diplomat near the Greek city-states? Yes, I believe we do. Damasos, yeah, he's right next to the Greek city-state. So, if we take this land, I want to sell it to the Greek, Greek city-states. It's a decent city, which is a bit annoying. But that will also stop us going to war with the Ptolemies as well. Which, yeah, the Seleucids and the Ptolemies, both at the same time. Not something we really want to do, is it, guys? So, let's get into this battle. Here we go then, guys. Straight up into the fray. We have actually taken quite a bit of damage from their archers. And I did the look. They do have Neocretans, and that is the reason. Because the Greek Slingers will not be doing damage against our armor. But the uh, Neocretans are going to actually quite shredding us right now. They have Thuriophoroi Cavalry as their general, which is annoying. But um, this whole army is going to be annoying. Because it's all light infantry, really, apart from the Phalangites. So... Yeah, as soon as we're up there, though, we are going to get our phalanx down and get ready to fight them. Here they come. They do have a Thuriophoroi there, too. Looks like they're going to charge some of their cavalry into the fray. Apparently not. So let's come forward with these boys. Let's march forward. There we go, boys. Very nice indeed. Uh, and unfortunately, they're going to try and skirmish a lot with this army. It's like fighting the Thracians once again. But uh, yeah, not too bad. Let's come forward then with these guys. Just try and goad them into fighting us, really, is the main thing. There we go. There's some Greek hoplites now engaged in the fight. These guys struggling a little bit, mainly because of the amount of damage they've taken from the javelins. So, yeah, a bit annoying. We might just have to tank all the javelins from these Prodromoi and Thuriophoroi cavalry. Especially with uh, all of those guys in the back. The uh, Chalcospedes in the back, because we can't go... And darn well en engage the Chalka Speeders, can we? So let's speed that up slightly. Let's see what they decide to do. We just need to kill this Greek hoplite. Like, will you kill them, guys, please? That would be good. There we go. Absolutely shredded them now. Come on. How are they not routing? There's like four men left. Do that. There we go. Six men. Come on. There we go. Right. Let's slow that down slightly. And uh, let's keep coming forward. Let's see whether they will engage us or not. The one thing I do find annoying with when they're walking forward is a lot of the time they put their phalanxes up and then the cavalry charges and you're just like, well, that's great. Um, these guys can't withdraw, remember? So whatever they do, they can't withdraw. Let's keep coming. You guys get there. You guys get to the side. See if we can deal with the Prodromoi. Cavalry-wise, I don't want to bring the cavalry too far forward. Just because I think the cavalry might uh, scare their prodromoi and stuff away. Um, let's see if we can fire a javelin. Just fire a javelin at them. 
Just like hold and maybe fire a javelin at them. That would be good. Hopefully, like you can fire, guys. Come up. That would probably break them, honestly. But no, I don't think we're going to reach them now, unfortunately. Unless they go for the charge. Are they going for the charge? Looks like they are going for the charge. We'll, we'll fire at them then. That's fine. Here comes their cavalry. So they are starting to uh, have a little bit of a mess around. I don't know what these guys are doing. What they think they're doing. But they're just being standard light cavalry. Which is annoying. <laughs> you guys come back. It's fine. Don't need to chase them. Same with that Prodromoy. Let's uh, just chill out for a second over here. And uh, yeah, hopefully we beat that Zistaphori pretty handily. We should do. They should not be... Uh, they should be dying, guys. <laughs> Let's get them off. I was going to take them off guard mode then and put the attack order on. But I don't want to mess up the lines too much. There we go. There comes the Prodromoy. Decided to chase us down. Well done by them. Very clever. You guys get in closer. Here comes another unit. What is that? That is a Zistaphoro. Cool. Let's get up here. And uh, let's get you up there too. Oh, here comes the Prodromoy. Nice. Don't think they're going to do much damage there. Killed like one man. But hopefully we should be able to break them pretty quickly and kill most of them. There we go. Very nice. Now let's get our cavalry around the flanks to really start encircling them here. Come up. I'm surprised that Zistaphoro is still existing now. What are they doing with their uh, Chalka Speeders, bro? That's slightly weird, but um, not really too much to worry about, I don't think. As long as we're facing them, should be fine. Here we come. Moving up. Moving on up, my friends. Moving on up. See if we can fire into that Chalka Speeders. That would be good. You guys come around too. And let's go after some of these lighter units that they've got over here now. What are you, by the way? That's their Prodromoy. They've come back from fighting. I, again. Again, guys. I thought we were the Seleucids. <laughs> I keep doing that. They've got Agira Speeders as well, remember, which are a very, very good unit. I think we're going to keep in guard mode for now. Because, like I say, the main thing we want to do is just hold that line um, while we kill everyone else. Um, and then we can put the attack orders on. So you guys come out. Let's see if we can surround these boys. Same with you. Straight through them into the Greek archers. Should have broke them pretty easily. There we go. Into the Greek archers, my friends. This one's going to be a bit annoying to deal with. But uh, we're going to keep on guard mode with these ones in the front. And then these ones in the back. We're going to turn guard mode off. Get the phalanx down, though. And we're going to do this and see if we can do some real damage to them. That would be amazing. Let's kill them. You guys get engaged with the Agira Speeders. These guys are getting shredded, unfortunately. So we're now going to put the on the Chalka Speeders. Chalka Speeders and Chalka Speeders. And now without guard mode on, these guys are holding on guard mode. And these guys are off guard mode to attack. They should do a lot more damage. Whether they do or not, different question. Would be nice if you guys actually had your phalanx down properly, but... Um, can't wish for everything, can we, guys? Here we go. They're off guard mode now. You can see them moving in, which is really nice. Should kill those 304 cavalry. You guys actually attack them. That'd be good. I'm going to get you around this way. See if we can fight that Chalk Speeders. Let's see if we can break them just with uh, superior numbers over here. There goes their general. That's good. Uh, you guys, yeah, I want you in the back of these Chalk Speeders. These guys are just marching through. Look at that. Brutal, brutal marching. Uh, you guys can maybe come around this way too. Look at them go. Like, look at them go. They're just marching through. Let's see what we can do, whether we can actually get a good charge off without them turning. That's the problem here. You see, they turn, and now we need to get out. Okay, that's their general good. I thought that was ours then for a second. Go, go, go. Guys, get out of there. They've turned around. They're going to shred us. <laughs> Absolutely shred us if we do that. So let's attack them. We brought these guys into the fight now. They should want to break very soon, though. You guys get there if you can. I want you all to attack this Chalka Speeders, please. That'll be amazing. There we go. Broken them. So let's uh, let's come here. Bit of a fat formation, I see, but that's fine. Um, and yeah, we're going to attack that Agira Speeders. There we go. 
You guys phalanx down off guard mode, and I want you to attack the Agira Speedes. Should be nice and quick with this. Look at that. They're absolutely shredding them now. Very nice indeed. Who is not routing then? Ah, one of the Chalk Speedes has come back from not routing. Good. Well, that's fine. We can uh, go and attack them. No problem whatsoever. Let's kill these guys as well. And then let's kill uh, this Prodromoy. And let's get away from the Chalk Speedes. That's fine. Well, a glorious victory, guys, nonetheless. Well, a glorious victory there, guys. Not as strong as we wanted, but that is mainly because their Chalk Speedes just went ham at the end there, which is pretty uh, good by them, but a glorious victory nonetheless. Right, let's go on to Maranea then, guys. Straight on there. Only one unit defending, so it shouldn't be a problem at all. And I think that's all the battles we were doing this turn. Got to remember we've got an army. We did have an army in Thermon, sorry. Not, not anymore, it's gone. Uh, but we've got to remember that we've got an army retraining uh, in Pella. And how long until we get going with this Thracian army? Um, not too long, I don't think, honestly. Let's start gathering it together. Yeah, we just need the cavalry, which we could use the Salians for. Where were you going, Uenus? Huh. Not sure. You were going by Lazora, apparently. Why are you good for a general? No, you're going... Oh, he's positive. That's actually good. Hmm. We might... Yeah, it's either you or Alois. And Alois is a great governor. So, yeah. Uenus, you can be the general up here. You look almost Thracian as well. So, that's fine. And let's end the turn there, guys. Okay, the RDA, I want an alliance and trade rights, but we've got to pay a tribute. Absolutely, I am very willing to accept that. 2,400 for us is not much, is it, guys? Let's be honest. So, uh, yeah, absolutely, my friends. Um, do you want my map information as well? Can I sell you the, the greatest map information that the world's ever seen? You are wealthy, so 2,000. Oh, fantastic. Well, we've got a bit of civil disorder in Oreos <laughs> and Idava, but Idava's under siege now, so it shouldn't be a problem. Goddamn Adrissians are, are just quite annoying, really, aren't they? Yeah, the Scordisci have transgressed against us, it would seem, as well. I don't know where. Probably because of their spy. So I think the wars in the north are going to be continuing for quite some time. The main issue is, though, it's just such a large front. And we've got large empires around us. And it's just never going to end, is it, guys? If we do fight in the north. Um, like, we could just have, a, you know, an army just to defend against all of this. But I don't think it's worth it. You know, we might as well take the land if we are going to fight in the north as well. Um, Memnon has a clueless pawn. <laughs> Good. A clueless pawn for you. Why should one risk one's own life when he can just as easy manipulate some idiot into doing one's job? <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> I do like that. Of course, we are now allied with the RDAI, which is great. I think we've got to the point now where people realize that maybe allying with us is a good idea, you know? <laughs> but yeah, that's great. Right. What do we have going on down here? We've got that. I think we're going to auto-resolve that. No point doing that battle. 54 dead. Fine. We're going to occupy Karistos too. Probably leave it undefended as well. We don't really need garrisons on Euboea, do we? At all. What do they have? Awesome Temple of Dionysus. Very nice. I like that quite a bit. Let's get that Temple of Aphrodite in there to get some population growth going as well. And what do we do now with this army? Well... That is a good question. I would like some Cretan archers if we have available to us as mercenaries. No. Are you happy? You will be happy. Good. Um, well, we do have the enemy down south in these guys, which uh, Nosos, I believe. Yes. So Nosos and then Rhodes is probably the option here. I would love to take Rhodes because that is going to increase our trade massively. Same as taking this whole island as well of Crete. Um, yeah. Like, I think we've got enough to deal with uh, the three settlements the Antigonids have left. What I am kind of considering, though, is waiting one more turn before I siege down Apoas. 
basically just because I want these guys to take Lamia so that I can go and take it afterwards. So we might just take Delphoi back. We'll just auto resolve. 210, yes. Sounds about right. <laughs> so we're going to wait a turn here, guys. And yeah, lots of damage apparently in that siege. That's fine. Um, let's get building one of those. Because Delphoi, of course, was one of our cities, wasn't it? Uh, previously. We are waiting for that archer. How are those archers doing? Still getting trained. Are we training over here? We've got to make sure that we are. Let's go for another Thessalian. Uh, an Athamanian. And an Ambrakiot. Very good. And over here, an Ambrakiot. In Fenike to an Ambrakiot. And in Pella, let's retrain those boys and train another Athamanian. Now, let's just check. I just want to check our thing here. So, yeah, we only get Greek archers. We don't get any good archers. So, we either need to go for Rhodes to get Slingers. Or we can get Cretan archers as AOR on Crete. Which will really bolster our effectiveness at taking cities, honestly. Archers are invaluable at taking cities. Let's uh, do that. That's 30. There we go. Like I say, guys, we're not going to do all these tiny little sieges anymore when we don't need to at this point. It's it's just not really worth it. Now, I am thinking about selling this to the Greek city-states, and that should stop the onslaught of the Seleucids. So let's try doing that. Like I said, do want to declare war on them at some point soon. So we really have a question, don't we? So... If we declare war on them soon, we could then sell them this. Hmm, yeah, we could just then sell them this as our buffer state for a ceasefire. That's probably the best option for us. Um, yeah, I could get you actually managing Thermon. But it's better probably managing Athens because Athens has a lot of money. Uh, these garrisons over here too... Where do we want to send them? Well, probably into these two cities. Like I say, we don't need, specifically need garrisons. If you were properly min-maxing everything here, you'd probably not have the inland garrisons. But you never know when the AI is just going to boat bomb you as well. And I do like having garrisons there all the time. Just for that extra bit of public order. So we can raise taxes. I haven't actually looked at the taxes for a little while. So it might actually be worth going and looking at the taxes at some point too. Adrissa is a large city now. Nice. Well done. Because that is a pretty infertile region. If I do remember myself. Yeah it's medium. So well done for getting it up to that level. Pretty decent. Um, right. Anything in here that we want. Not really. I mean. Could go for some Hippocontisti as the light cavalry. So let's actually get one unit of Hippocontisti for now. And then maybe get a second unit soon. Um, and yeah, this army is really taking shape now, which is fantastic. We are getting a th another Thurio Foroy there as our anti-cav option. Glorious. Let's, uh, let's have a look at the building then, guys. Plenty that needs building, it would seem. Demetrias, again, anything worthwhile really in Demetrias? Not too much. Is there any corruption? There is no corruption. So honestly, there's not that much that's worth it. We could go... Yeah, let's go for the Shrine to Dionysus, though. That's probably the best option there. Ayana, again, is there anything good worth building here? Not really. Still got population growth going, so that's fine. Acanthos, let's go for the uh, extra... Yeah, we'll go for a couple of those. Damale, too. First of all, though, while we do that, let's just check up here that we are building everything we need to. Yes, we are. Fantastic. And then let's uh, let's build uh, based on regions. Let's build down in the south, guys, because we're not built down here for a little while. Let's go for that. Let's go for the public baths there. Let's go for... We're fine in Messene. We're fine there. Tegea, we haven't built anything. Let's go for the Shrine to Dionysus then. Prasai is building... Uh, Trozan is building. Hermione is not building, so let's go for the sewers. Leprion is building. Good. Olympia is not, so again... Hmm. Not really worth too much down here. Let's go for that one. Ellis is building. Dimer's building. Now, Pactos is not, so what can we do in now Pactos? Bit of extra happiness it looks like they need. 
So let's go for Dioscuri. Let's put it down to low for now, just to keep them happy. Igineon, not worth anything. Oinadai is building. Same, anything worth building there? No. Uh, Lucas over here is building. And Braki is building too. Let's have a look at some of the newly conquered land then. We've done there. Corinth is not building, so let's build in here. Huh. Corinth, probably worth getting the paved roads because it's pretty rich. Sikion, let's go for that shipwright. That's going to really help trade in this region. Megara is insanely rich. So I think the paved roads, let's have a look at that. 250, that's decent, honestly, for the paved roads. Uh, Piraeus is building. Athens is building. Tanagra is building too. Thebes, let's repair those. And then I think let's build a sewer. And Orchomenos, we've not built there for a while. I think the dockyard. Let's see how much money this will bring. 382. Not actually as much as I was expecting, but there's a lot of devastation in this land. So once that goes, we should be okay. Let's go for the... Um, let's go for something in Oreos that make them happier. Public baths. Then let's try just to keep these guys going and happy. Uh, nothing really worth too much there. I think we'll go for the Shrine to Aphrodite if we can. Is that a repair? No, that is actually building the Shrine to Aphrodite. And then, yeah, let's build in here then. Let's just build the public baths. Glorious. Well, that's some decent building going on there. How many cities are we not building in? One there, one, two, like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 cities. That actually could be achievable sometime soon to build in everywhere, which would be great. These guys are still... What is this? <laughs> what is this and where has it come from? I mean, good job we've got a pretty big army here ready to stamp down on them. I'm going to defend in here um, and hopefully be able to defend the town center. It's a minor city, so it should have one of those pretty nicely defensible town cities. Let's also go for the shrine to Dionysus while we're here in Marinea 2. Um, and yeah, let's... Um, this army, though, what are we going to do with it? I think it needs retraining before we go up to um, Nosos. But let's just go and take Argos with it, then. Retake Argos, should I say. And we're going to exterminate them because that's what we do, guys, isn't it? With, uh, with nations that uh, don't want to um, play uh, play ball, really. Could go for Elatea. They've spawned in some Prodromoi. Uh, well, that's fine. Like I say, I want to wait a turn, though, before we do anything else here because I want them to take Lamia. Then we'll take Elatea, take Opus. And take Lamia all in one go. That should be pretty nice space there. So let's end the turn, guys. Oh, wow. That is insane. That is a huge rebel army that has attacked us at Argos. Luckily, it's pretty darn awful. This looks like it was the remnants of the Elians, um, which is cool. And that's probably causing all the devastation in this region. So it will be actually quite good to take them out. So... Yeah, let's go for it. Let's uh, take them out. Should be nice and easy, guys. Well, this is slightly weird, guys. As you can see, this army is going all the way around the right, probably because of the high ground. Whereas this army is just deciding to come straight at us. So um, I think we'll oblige them and uh, <laughs> get rid of them. <laughs> Should be pretty, uh, pretty easy. They've only got one Greek hoplite. The rest of it is all just... Yeah, slingers and that. So we should be able to kill them. Remember with rebel armies as well, guys, you only need to beat them. You don't need to chase them down. So we just need to beat them and we should be fine. Um, so there we go. We've broken those guys. Let's get over here now. Should be able to speed this up, no problem. I think we can probably break that Greek hoplite just by charging it. Let's uh, rally the men, though, so we don't lose a great Alexander. Should be a pretty nice charge. Instantly broken. Nice. Kill them all quickly, guys. Straight on to the Zistaphoroi. Gonna have to charge through these guys, though, which is a bit annoying, but that's okay. Should be able to break them pretty easily. There we go. There we go. We fight them. How are we doing with that army now? They have come. Come on, guys. Kill that Zistaphoroi. I think we can uh, afford to just fight this one out. Kill those Greek Peltas. 
There we go. Nice. Nice and easy. They shouldn't want to... Uh, one of the Akantistai has actually come back. So that's fine. Let's go and get them quickly. If we can get them quickly. Come on, guys. Hurry up. Jesus Christ. There we go. That should be enough. So let's come back. We're going to be a little bit tired now. So we've got to be wary of that. But um, I don't know what that army is doing, bro. Like, what are they doing? It's really annoying. They're getting shot now, the Prodromoy as well, which is fine. Uh, and I might actually wait a second. No, they're going. Let's go. Let's. Uh, I'm going to wait for my, um, my general to get not tired anymore before we do anything else. Uh, you guys, I want you to fire at the Prodromoy if you can, but that's fine if you can't. These guys, let's get you here. And then, yeah, all we need to do now is just wait until we uh, get a little bit uh, healthier and uh, less tired. You guys fire at them. Here we go. They're, they're coming into action now, guys. They're charging forward with the Akontistai. Not sure that's going to end too well for them, but you never know, do you? Um, this Prodromoy is harassing us, which is quite annoying, but we are firing arrows at it, so we should be okay. And uh, looks like they're not going to charge, but that's fine. This is the problem. We need our cavalry to be uh, to be back less exhausted so that we can actually go and take out some of the Akontistai, etc. So let's, uh, let's move forward. Should be good. And let's keep on trying to goad them into fighting us. There we go. Kill that Prodromoy. Should be nice and easy. There we go. They've gone for the attack there. So let's attack there. Elian and Phoebe's. And, yeah, it's all of this that we need to worry about. We have got a bit more fatigue back now, which is good. Keep firing at these Prodromoi, for God's sake. Really annoying. We've nearly used all our ammo, though. Uh, now we're just tired. <laughs> which is not ideal, but it's not terrible as well. We should be able to kill these guys, no problem. Uh, I'd like you to turn around. So let's then keep on moving forward with these boys. These guys get slightly further forward too. Um, and yeah, cavalry. Probably time for us to come into action and get rid of the, some of these Akontistai, etc. They are still tired, so that's not ideal. That's fine. Right, let's take you off guard mode and get you on the attack mode. There we go, guys. Get on the attack. That should be good. No problem. Looks like they've charged in here too. Um... I kind of want to make it round these guys and push them in towards the phalangites. So let's do that. Let's speed it up, though. We don't need to take it so slowly, do we? Uh, so let's get this way over here. Looks like we're getting shot at. No problem. You guys. Whereas you guys in there. You guys in there. Should be uh, fine. Instant routing of all of those boys. Straight onto that unit then. We've got to charge down. The annoying thing with this is you've got to like chase down them so much as well. Because they will come back. 65 of them will come back. Let's keep going straight into the Greek Peltasts. Go on, boys. Break them. There we go. Nice. They are routing. That's fine then. Now into here. Going to be a bit annoying. Because they may come back, these guys. But uh, for now, we're fine. Come on, boys. Good. And then we can charge these guys in the back, too. See, they did come back already, the Greek Peltas. Look at that. Ah, oh, annoying. <laughs> Our guys are so tired, though, now. Just get them. Okay, apparently they can't. They're too slow. Can you touch them, then, or not? Kill them. Yeah, they're just too slow. Come on, boys. <laughs> there we go. We did maybe overuse them at the start of the battle, which, yeah, completely my fault. I do like it when they stop, though. Uh, yeah. They have, they've started routing again. Fine, no problem. Oh, we just ran through and broke everyone else here. Glorious. Keep chasing them, guys. What I'm going to do is actually get these guys out into the field to try and chase them down. So, let's see. Can we break everyone else? Probably very easily. Well, there we go, guys. Nice and easy victory. Maybe overuse the cavalry a little bit, but... Uh, we would nonetheless. That should be that army fully destroyed. Hopefully, anyway. And there we go. A rebel city. So we only needed to just destroy the general. So, of course, as we know, we're going to exterminate in Argos. This one's not going to accept now because it's been closed. Oh, no, it did actually. Fantastic. And he's in Orchomenos. Very nice, which is a decent city. 
Um, would we prefer him in Orkomenos or Tanagra? No, we'd prefer him in Megara, but we do have a general there. So yeah, Orkomenos is the one. Look at Lamia. They've taken Lamia. Very nice. The Idrisians just continuing to really annoy us in the north, as you can see. <laughs> um, but that's fine. Um, how are we doing on all of this? Lots of people going to the Olympics this time. Glorious. These guys just wandering around. Nice. <laughs> Right then, let's take this army. Is this all good? Yeah, that actually looks great. Do we want to go and attack them? Not really. It looks like a pretty decent army. Um, I think, honestly, with this army, what do we want to do? Probably want to just push the Adrissians back. Maybe take Paltina back. Maybe come up here in the north, take uh, Sir Dicker as well. How far can you march? Not that far, actually. So let's go for there. this guy up here. Looks like we're going to be taking the long route. So we might as well just go and siege down Paltina instead. You guys can get back in there. No problem. And uh, did we do our recruitment that time? No, we we're on the other side of recruitment. Thermon got that. Bylazora is continuing. Let's keep on going with those guys. That's very nice. Uh, Construction-wise, lots of construction, so we want to be careful with that going forward. Right then, let's uh, do our moves here. So you guys can come out. Probably going to leave behind... Who are we going to leave behind in there? Hmm. Thermon, let's keep on going with some more garrison troops. And, yeah, there's Lepion. Oh, Lepion does have a garrison troop, so probably worth you going for Delphoi. It might riot this turn, but that's fine. We'll go and siege down Lamia. Is it worth us auto-resolving this? Probably not because of the generals. So we do want to be wary of that. We've taken Argos with these guys. Um... Well, what do we want to do? I think this army can definitely go back for training at Thermon would be the best option for it. Uh, we'll leave Argos by itself for now. We will build... Repair that, of course. Let's build some roads there just to, to get some good movement through these lands. Uh, where did we have, like, recruitment hubs over here? We were building a couple. Um, this one? No. They are building the recruitment hubs, but we don't actually have any yet. Well, you don't need to be in there, so you could actually go and garrison Argos. That's fine. Um, they have siege down Oreos, but uh, don't really care. Uh, do you want to siege down Opus? Could we siege it down with these men? What is in there? Just two units. I think we could. If we take, like, the healthiest units, which is not many. We'll take the 304 right. I think we'll be fine to siege it down. It's going to take a little bit of time, but that should be fine. So let's uh, let's do the building, guys. And yeah, I'll do the building off camera this time. We've done two very thorough buildings, so that should be fine. Um, and was, it a, was there a battle to do? Where was the battle? Not there. Not there. Um, they're going back for retraining. Oh, there was potentially... One of these. Was it Elatea? Yeah, let's not just auto-resolve. 102. That's no problem. Let's occupy as well. There we go. And well, now we're sieging down Opus. Which actually, if we think about it, would be best if we uh, siege it down with everyone. There we go. That should be so we can auto-resolve it pretty easily. Um, yep, that is good. Very nice. Let's get the sewers in there. No, actually, no. Let's go for trying to Dionysus instead. 15% happiness. You, I want you in there, really. Well, while we're here, we might as well garrison with some troops, just in case. Not many troops, <laughs> but just in case. Do we have, we have like an Akontistai here, but we can't actually get through. Could get on the boat to it? Could we? Let's see then. Let's uh, where was it? In here? Yeah, there we go. Let's see if you've got enough movement to get through there. You do. It's not quite, I don't want uh, those guys more damage because they might die. So uh, we'll leave that off there for now. 
And uh, yeah, let's let me do the building, guys, and uh, we'll end the turn there. So a couple of things have happened over the end turn. Nosos offered us a ceasefire. I accepted it for now because there's no real need to keep on fighting them when we don't need to. So uh, yeah, no point losing territory if uh, if that's going to be the case. Fortunately, we can't actually retrain these guys here, so we're going to send them back to Ambrakia. Let's do that. Fantastic. Retrain those boys. They are very experienced now, which is awesome. We've got Civil Disorder in Elatea. That makes sense. And Imbros, which is just constant. <laughs> we are now pretty much building everywhere, guys, which is amazing. And um, yeah, that's really good. We're going to queue that in just so we know. We've got Ekakrates over here. Let's have a look. He's got three management already. He's spiritless, so that's not going to be good. Seditious minus one law, which is not good. Um, understanding of mathematics, though. Natural philosophy and strategy. And a superior builder. That's amazing. So where do we not have governors over here? We've got one in Athens already. We've got one in Tanagra, do we? No, we don't. We've got one in... Ooh. Orchomenos, no, but it's very, very poor. Because I think we and Sir exterminated it. Corinth, we don't either, but Megara, we do. So where? Oh, it doesn't like that, does it? Karistos is quite rich. So are these lands, but I think, yeah, probably Tanagra. Let's go for Tanagra. So you, my friend, are going to be the governor of Tanagra. Very good. And then where's the other person? Altazion over here on Korkira. Well, I think you can govern somewhere over this way because we don't have any governors around this region. I'm thinking Githion, honestly, is quite rich uh, compared to a lot of other places, although so is Olympia. So, yeah, actually, was going to send you to Olympia. You were on the island, weren't you? Yep, there we go. So let's send you to govern in Olympia. That's what we're going to do now. We're going to try... And uh, Idava was occupied. Yeah, so this is the other thing that happened, guys. The Adrissians did attack. And Scaptopara got exterminated, which not great for anyone, really. That is it. Thank you, uh, Adrissians. But there we go. Oh, some people have become Olympic athletes. That's very good. Suspect Olympic victor. What's that? Suspect Olympic victor. Oh, seems to be struggling a little bit. <laughs> At the minute. Hopefully that's not a crash. Come on, the game. You can load. Well, it took us to Odessa Batisha for that. So, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> but that's fine. Looks like it's struggling a little bit, the game, at the minute. Um, but we are going to move troops. So we are going to go for Pautilia over here. Then go for Skaptopara. Could do with another region over here. Just for, like, recruiting garrison troops. It could be Heraclius and TK. Hmm. Well, I'd prefer it to be this one or this one. But they've got a bit of time before they can actually start recruiting anything. We got Siege down at Marinea, which is fantastic. We do want to get Siege down here. As long as they do attack, that would be amazing. Right, well, this battle, let's just auto-resolve that quickly. 60 men, not a problem. And Opuus is so small... So let's just uh, leave that be. Do we have any spare garrisons around? We do. So you can go into a puss. Keep it happy. Fantastic. Let's destroy this building. So I'm mad that this is still just a town, bro. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> um, don't want to build our recruitment there. No point. It's only a town. This army then, once we've taken Lamia. So let's... Uh, Let's go for the Siege of Lamia, guys. And, yeah, not amazing amount of troops, but it should be fine. Not a problem. Let's go. Well, we're going to make a breach with these guys. If we can get those Greek slingers, that'd be amazing. We're going to go and try and fight those Athenian hoplites, which I'm assuming they got from AOR. We're then going to send across you guys. Uh, we're going to send you in. There we go. If you can go that way, that'd be great. Uh, and then we're also going to send in two of you boys over here. And three of you can get ready to come through that way too. 
And that's pretty good. We're going to save the ammo of these boys to try and force them off the town square over here when we get round to it. So that should be good. Um, but yeah, glorious. Who are we fighting here? Just Athenian hoplites. Should be okay. I don't think our 4 is going to struggle with that. Come on, guys. You're going to kill those Greek slingers pretty easily, man. Should be able to kill them. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, we could also come round this way. So let's send those three this way. We might as well. We'll have uh, lots of routes to encircling them and on the town square. So you guys, let's get you in there too. And um, we're going to try and bring these guys in that way. Hopefully they don't get engaged in the combat there. How are the Greek slingers doing? Yeah, they're losing, obviously. We're going to turn you off guard mode and we're going to attack. See if you can do some good attack orders in there. I'll also send my cavalry in when we get the chance. These two units, let's get you over here if we can. What is that around there? That is a Thurio Foroi. Nice. Let's kill all these guys at the entrance, and then we'll be uh, peachy. So here we go, guys. We've got plenty of action going on at the minute. It looks like they're going to come down this way. So what I'm going to do, send my cavalry in to attack these Thurio Foroi. And if we can kill them, then we can come all the way around, surround like half of their army here. Are you guys not in phalanx? There we go. That's better. I just want guard mode on these guys just so that they um, just defend. Guys, can you get there, please? That would be good. You guys can get in behind to fire jabbies too. Not a problem. Don't mind that at all. Athamanians. Yeah, that's fine. Um, over here then. Let's keep on moving up. What do they have? They literally just have a Greek slinger. Um, looks like they're going to come this way to attack us with a unit. So you guys get there. What is that? Just Thurio Foroi. Fine. So get in there. You guys now need to get on the town square. And you can uh, put your phalanx down now. No problem. These guys are charging up. Very good. Should be able to hold them back pretty easily here. How are we doing with the cavalry over this way? Shaken, but not stirred, unfortunately. Where did their cavalry go? And we're just going to hold them back over here too. While we go and take the town square. You guys. You guys need to attack them Greek slingers. Come on. What are these Ambrokyotes doing, bro? Get there. Go, go, go. Go. Go, man, go. Come on, guys. <laughs> Hurry up. This is a great opportunity. There's the general. There we go. He's only a captain with this stuff, all right. But that's fine. Looks like they are shredding these boys a little bit because of the formation. But once we've got these guys in here, I'm going to uh, get them on the phalanx mode. And then we're going to attack. There we go. And we're going to attack in there. There we go, boys. Get marching. Very good. Very, very good. Right, guys. Come on. Speed up. Speed up. We want you here so you can defend against them. Looks like we don't even need to do any uh, juicy tactics here. We can just hold them off at all points and fully surround these boys down this way which will be amazing um you two too can keep coming this way we just need these boys to actually do their job and kill these greek slingers there's one left guys <laughs> there's literally one left <laughs> come on one man left come on kill him kill him come on god damn it bro right now you guys can put your phalanx down there goes their general. Very nice. Very nice. Holding them back pretty darn well. That's a terrible, terrible formation, my friends. Oh, God. That's what happens when you take it off guard mode. <laughs> oh, sometimes they do amazing. Sometimes they do awful. These Chalcospedas don't even have their phalanx down. So I don't know what they're doing. Now you guys get forward. Let's go like that. That'll be a pretty fat line for them to deal with. You guys there. Um, and we're holding them off over here. Cavalry-wise, let's get you round the back. I've slugged up a bit there by not moving them earlier. But anyway, that's fine. Um, yeah, you guys just get in there. Should be able to hold these Chalk Speeders back pretty easily. Probably get able to... There we go. That's better, guys. That's better. Don't need to do anything silly with facing the wrong way anymore. Right, let's uh, go for a cheeky charge on the Chalkers. No, 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 no. What is this here? 
Yeah, I don't care about them. I just want the cavalry. Come on, Cav. Hurry up, my friends. I know you find it difficult in cities, but hurry up. Let's see if we can give these, uh, these guys a cheeky charge. Rally the men so the general is uh, behind. Good. Come on, guys. Hurry up. Hurry up. See if we can do well against this. Our guys have got a bit lost now, so get your uh, phalanx down. You guys come through to attack. See if we can break them or not. There we go. Their general's dead now, so I'm surprised they're not shaken or anything like that. Right then, guys. Let's turn around. Let's go on to the Thurio 4 eye. Let's leave these guys to be absolutely shredded as they've turned around. Come on, guys. Especially the general. Please get out of there. There we go. They've broken. Fantastic. Let's go, guys. Go for the charge, please. <laughs> Rather than just marching into them. That would be amazing. There we go. This should easily break them now. Glorious. There we go. Broken them all. Very nice indeed. Don't let them through. Do not let them through. And then all we've got left is a minute on the clock and these 304 are here. So if we uh, get our guys in there, they shouldn't be able to uh, pass. Glorious. Same with you guys. If you guys get there, they're, they're a bit worried now, aren't they? <laughs> they're starting to try and run through the boys. So let's, uh, let's go. Let's see if we can get the cavalry round that way to try and deal with them. Uh, and maybe at least stop them getting to the town square in the next 30 seconds would be good. Back to you guys go like that would be good. There we go. Glorious, my friends. And a great victory. That is the Antigonids wiped off Greece. Whether they still have land in Anatolia, I don't know. They could still, and they could still exist. But I think this is a great victory, my friends, for us. And let's just occupy Lamia. Oh! <laughs> and that is them destroyed. That is glorious, my friends. Wow. It has been a tough ride, hasn't it, my friends? A very tough ride. But finally, we have destroyed them once and for all. Oh, my God. I am so happy <laughs> with that. That is absolutely glorious, my friends. Very glorious indeed. Well, first of all, let's get back into one of these areas with this army. For a full retrain. And I think we're just going to retrain everyone. All of these armies while we decide what we want to do next. But a glorious little victory there, my friends, wasn't it? In fact, let's uh, make sure we're doing this properly. We don't need to uh, retrain everyone, do we? So let's get you in there. You in there. You in there. Spreading some of the experience around too. So that should be a bit easier, but they are getting actually armor upgrades too, so that's good. Let's get you guys out of here as well, because we want to retrain you. So you go all the way back there. Let's see what we can do about this. May also be armor upgrades here as well, in this one, so might not be amazing. You get there, one more, get there, and then we'll use you to fill up these two and that's good perfect yeah also armor upgrades are going to take a couple of turns anyway right then um let's also get all of this army back for retraining i'm going to leave behind maybe 26 304 because they are replaceable and they'll also be very cheap um what about in there yeah that's fine they're going to be unhappy no matter what in fact can you get further you can you can go up to a larissa so let's do that then. Let's get you up to Larissa. All the way into the north. There we go. Now let's retrain everyone. They also have good garrison stuff at Larissa. So let's go for Ferai. I don't think we can retrain. Can we retrain the Thessalians? Yes, we can. Oh, glorious. Very nice. Well, that's going to be three full stacks in that area ready to go ASAP. So let's go straight into Delphoi with you. We're also going to have this army ready to go as well. Um, and is there any more armies down here? I don't think so. I think that's everything that we have. Uh, we've managed to. Uh, we've managed to get glorious. Well, that what an end to the episode, my friends. Fantastic. Absolutely glorious. Well, if you did enjoy, guys, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. And I'll see you all again on the next video.